Jennifer Hernet, jenniferhernet.com. Today I'm going to give you three tips for how to take a vacation from social media. I know when I first started using social media to build and grow my business, one thing that was really ingrained in me was you've got to be consistent on social media if you're going to be successful in using it to build an online business. And it's not enough just to show up once a week or even once a day. If you want to be seen, recognized, remembered, most importantly, if you want to become the authority in your market, then you've got to appear all the time. People have got to be seeing your great stuff out there consistently. And as fast as social media moves, especially platforms like Twitter, consistently means basically all the time. So the mindset I got in was, okay, here are my social media networks. I've got to be there 24 seven. I've got to be showing up every day, all day, which was great because I love social media. I love the relationships that it's built for me. I love what it's done for my business, but <laughs> no matter how much you love anything, everybody needs a break at some time from anything. Everybody needs a break. So there would be days that I would wake up and I'd be like, uh, I don't know what to say, or I do know what to say, but I'm looking at my computer going, I don't want to open you. I want nothing to do with being online today. And, you know, it kind of started to feel, I, I kept pressing forward, but it kind of started to feel like a J-O-B. You know, you wake up in the morning, you don't want to do it. Well, that's exactly what we're trying to get away from when we're building our online business. We're our own boss, we're our entrepreneur, we're doing this thing we love that we're passionate about. When it starts not to feel good, it's time to reevaluate. So what I did was say, well, what if I took a break from social media? And guess what I found out? It's okay. If you are consistent about using social media, you could take a vacation and your friends, your followers, your fans, your clients, your customers, your connections, they're going to be there when you get back. They're not going to have forgotten your name and run off to found somebody else to to hook up with to the exclusion of you. They're not going to unfriend you, unfollow you, uncircle you. They're still going to be there. But here are three things that I learned about doing it right, about really how to take a vacation from social media the right way. The first tip I'm going to give you is to let people know you're going to be gone. Even if this means you wake up one day and you're like, right now, I got to start taking 24 hour break right now. That's fine. Get online and put it on your networks. Hey, I'm unplugging for 24 hours. This is what I'm doing. See you tomorrow. Or if it's a weekend that you have planned off, you can plan to take off on a vacation. You can build up to it. You know, hey, on Friday, I'm taking off till Monday. This is what I got going on. I'll see y'all then. This gives people, you know, it's not a guarantee that everybody will see it. But I know with some people who I connect with regularly, if I'm not seeing anything from them for a couple of days, I'll go over and look at their profile and see, are they posting and I'm not getting their post or what's happening? And if I see that they've left a message, hey, I'm unplugging, I'm going away for the weekend, then I'm like, oh, okay, I know exactly what they're doing. That's great. And this really, you know, this just makes you human. You're, I'm not a robot. I don't sit at the computer 24 seven, uh, throwing out my stuff on social media. This is okay. It makes you a real person, but let people know. Just like you would let your friends know if you were going away, if they weren't going to see you or uh, you weren't going to call them for a day and they were used to hearing from you every day. It's the same way. It's the, so, the relationship on social media works the same way it works in real life. Second tip I'm going to give you is don't pre-schedule all your content to appear like you were there. Now, it's okay if you want to throw out a couple of tweets a day, a Facebook po post a day or whatever, but if you are truly unconnecting for this period of time, and you're still broadcasting your stuff out there, what's gonna happen? You're putting it out there, people are replying to you, they're retweeting you, they're commenting, and where are you? You're nowhere to be found. So what's missing? The essential piece of social media, engagement. You're not engaging back with them. And social media as a broadcast tool only is a waste of time. So don't do it. Don't sit there and stay up all night and think I got to get two days of content loaded into all into Hootsuite before I leave or my life will end. Bad idea. Be gone and let yourself be gone. If you want to put one or two things out there a day, fine. But just remember, you're not engaging. 
And that without engagement, there is no point to social media. So don't try to make it look like you're around when you're not around. Third piece of advice I'm going to give you is when you do come back from your social media vacation, let people know, reach out and engage with people more than you normally would. You know, send some extra at messages to people. Um, go on to some fan or business pages and leave messages there. Make an extra effort to reach out and say hello to people and to reconnect with people. You know, even if it's only 24 hours that you've been gone, just taking that extra effort to put yourself back in there, have a little more activity and affirmatively engage with a few more people will bring you back, fully back into the loop. It'll make you feel good. Uh, it'll make them feel good. It's just win-win for everybody. You should be doing this every day anyway, but just make a little extra effort to do it when you get back and to really reach out and say hello to people even more than you did, even more than you do on a regular basis. And let me just say one more thing too. I'll give you a kind of uh, a bonus tip here. Even if you want to totally unplug and disconnect, if you've scheduled a weekend away to, uh, you know, do something with your family, you can post a picture about what you're doing. You can schedule, you know, five minutes into the end of your day just to post one picture and say, hey, I'm really enjoying my time away. Here's a picture of what we did today. Or, you know, even if it's not a picture, just a thought or something, uh, it might, again, it goes back to the thing of making you look human, making you look like a real person. Sharing your life and what you're doing makes people be able to relate to you better. So it's okay to not even take your computer with you where you're going. These days, all you have to have is your phone. You can take the picture and post in five seconds. So that's another just sort of bonus thing. If you're okay with it, if you're just too nervous to totally be uh, locked away from everyone, you can still have that social media connection without doing business. Don't worry about thinking of some great tip or great uh, business idea to share with your audience. Share with them personally what you're doing with your time away and take five minutes to do it and you're done and you feel better and they see that you're a real person and everybody's happy. So that's optional, but it's certainly something that you can do if you're comfortable with it and if you uh, are okay just spending that five minutes uh, popping in and saying hello. So remember, don't be afraid to take a break from social media when you need to do it, when it feels right for you. Now, if you're wanting to take a break every day, you're in the wrong business, get out. But if, you know, once a month you're thinking, oh, I'm just too bogged down, I'm overwhelmed, I'm bored, I don't want to do this, this doesn't feel right, take the break. Let people know you're going to do it. Don't try to appear there when you're not there. And come back and really re-engage with people when you're done with your social media vacation. Or post a picture or a thought while you're taking your break. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts about what you do, how you handle your social media vacations. Um, please feel free to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.